All right, hi everyone. So those of you who haven't seen Vidyard yet, Vidyard allows you as a user to take a video and embed it to an email very, very quickly. Um, what I need to do is I need to actually turn my video off of this. And now I have access. So, so now you can see me again on my screen as I would actually use Vidyard. So we're gonna take a step back. I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and get into Vidyard. So if you open up vidyard.com, you can click on pricing. And the, the first thing you see right here is free forever. And this is the sign up for free button right here. Um, I do not think Vidyard is going to keep this pricing forever. I think Vidyard, the more it gets popular, the more it's gonna get rid of the free forever at some point and sort of have maybe an introduction rate. So I would encourage you guys, even if you're not prepared to use it right now, just go ahead and sign up. There's nothing else you need to do. Uh, but you're gonna click on the sign up button and I would just do continue with Google. So I'm gonna do it under a different account so I'll show you guys what it looks like. This would be under my personal account. So that's as easy as I do. I say I'm 13 years or older. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, continue. And you're done. It, it absolutely is that easy. So now we can record videos, we can do a whole bunch of different things, but I'm gonna go ahead and set up the theme as far as how I want it to look. So when I click on this, my library is all the videos I've recorded to date. My theme is how I want the visuals to look. Now I have to upgrade this to customize it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch accounts and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my upgraded pro account. For basic accounts, you just have to keep it at the general theme. Everyone got that? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch accounts. I'm gonna sign in with Google. Sign with the account that I paid for. Now, based on what I paid for, I'm paying for the pro plan. So if you looked at prices, I paid for the $15 per month plan and it did bill annually. Now what that gives me is it, it still gives me unlimited videos that I can upload. Instead of embedding into five sites, I can embed it to 20 sites, which I've still never even used this video. Because if I'm embedding on a website, I've actually just downloaded the videos and just upload the video again on the website. So I've never done that. But again, here's the, video to, the ability to download your videos. So that's, that for me is important. I can add a logo and a call to action, which is what I've done. And I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like. And then I can remove the Vidyard branding. So it actually looks like the branding looks like mine. And then password protection and video performance insights. So I can actually see when people have opened videos. And I can look on here and of my last videos, um, 10 people viewed this one, one person viewed this, one person, one person. So you can see how many people have viewed some of my videos that I put out. And it's nice because if I'm putting the same video to someone and they're never opening the video, then I know at least when I engage them in a conversation, they're gonna have no clue what I'm talking about. So for me, that's pretty important. Everyone with me so far? Thumbs up, I can see you on the other screen. So if you don't mind, just give me some thumbs up. Okay, good, I got everyone. All right, so now let's see it in action. So if I wanna do a new video here, I'm gonna go ahead and just click on a brand new video and I'm gonna click, um, uh, Dasha, what's your email address? Yes, you're on mute, just so you know. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, you can send it to Rick and Natasha at gmail.com. Okay, um, there it is right there. Okay, cool. All right, so I'll do this. I'm gonna do a test bid yard email. Okay, so here's the trick with Vidyards, is you have to have a screen pulled up of something that you could record. I can't actually start a video being on just a Google page. It'll actually tell me, oops, Chrome doesn't allow us. So I just need to have any page pulled up. It could be Facebook, it could be something else, but you need to have a page pulled up for it to work. Now, when I start it, you see it's right up here in my Google, on my Google sentence. I'm, just, I'm using Chrome, and I just click on it. Now, I have three options when I click on this. I can record the tab, which is just the tab that I have open on, on um, Chrome. I can record the screen, which is the whole dang screen. And when I do that, you can see down here in the corner, I got like the little floating head effect, which is pretty cool. Or I can do just camera only. And camera only, so I'm gonna put just my shiny forehead on there. So I'm, I'm not too shiny today, so I'm pretty good. All right, so now you can do that. So those are the two. When you're doing this though, you need to make sure that you have your mic selected properly and your camera selected properly. So you can actually look, pull the, Pull down devices on here. The reality is this is the very first time you video. If you don't get it right, you'll know right away. This gets some pretty good feedback on there. So for this one, I'm gonna go record just camera. I'm gonna go ahead and do record. Can you repeat that one more time? I'm sorry. You said what sure. had to be open? Say it one more time. What were you asking? You said that um, go back into the uh, into the vineyard and then you said you were setting yeah. it up 
and it had the two dots that are right that are located there you said i didn't i didn't catch yes. that yes and what i can do is i can turn off the microphone uh -huh. and when i have the camera on i have multiple camera intakes it's going to use for this so it's going to click which camera i want to use oh okay so and this is just some of the general settings on there so it's just to make sure that you're using the right devices is what i was trying to say does that make sense awesome okay and also what i forgot to tell you guys is that when you finish buying this when you finish purchasing it you're still gonna have to download the plugin so this plugin is an extension so what you'll do is and i'm sorry i forgot you have to go to the app store go to the web store and then look for Vidyard. And here's Vidyard. So then you have to download it still. So once you sign up for a free plan, you're going to have to download it and then go ahead and put in your credentials in. I've already had my credentials in here, so that's why I didn't have to do it again. So I, I'm sorry I have to skip that step. So everyone with me? So yeah, once you have the plan, you can, can, go ahead. Can I ask no, a question? Fine. Um, is that an additional cost for the web store? No, 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 no. The plugin is free. Okay. Plugin's free. So, so again, Vidyard is 100% free to use. And I can, if I'm using it for video embeds on emails, well, that's kind of cool. I can see my hand twice. I can, I can actually do that. I, I can do that unlimited amount of time for free and it'll stay free. So I'm going to go ahead and try it for just camera only. I'll give you guys a sample of how this looks like. So I'm going to hit record. It's going to do a countdown. And now it's recording. So everything I'm recording right now is going to be on there. I can say, hey, yo, Natasha, what's up? Uh, how's it going, right? And I have options here where I can pause, I can stop, or here's the best thing. So many times I'm recording is I'm like, wait, what was I trying to say? And I'll hit the restart button. And I'll say, do I want to cancel it or do I want to restart? And I'll wait here for a minute. I'll be like, okay, what was I going to say? All right, all right, all right, all right. So then I'll do a restart. Okay. Hey, Natasha Sage. Hey, I just wanted to shoot you a quick follow-up just to say hi, uh, you're awesome, and I'll talk to you later. All right, so once I get the video up here, once I hit stop, it's going to open up the tab where I can do some editing on it now. And I'm going to close this one down. Now, here's a couple things we can do, which is actually really cool, is I can change the title if you're displaying the title or not. I actually have titles turned off because I don't think anyone really cares what the video title is. I think they just care about the video. And that way, what happened was, is I was forgetting to change the title every time. So when I had video titles turned on, people were actually seeing Vidyard recording every single time. So when I went into my settings, I just, I just turned it off. For me, I didn't think it added much value because I'm embedding it in with an email and there's already contextual information in the email. So for here though, we can also trim the video too. So I can trim the length of the video if I happen to say something really stupid or maybe I set up something wrong, I can trim it if I need to. I honestly, I've never used it because once you start doing something like that, you're starting to get all fancy and start worrying about stuff and start doing all sorts of whatever and everything like that. Don't worry about it. the whole point we're using Vidyard is it humanizes us and we don't have to be perfect. Because honestly, when we have a conversation with someone, how many times do we really have that conversation and the dialogue is 100% perfect anyway? It doesn't happen, so it's okay. So I can also download it or delete it. Um, honestly, since you have unlimited of these, I've never even deleted one of these either. If something I didn't like, I just filmed another one. So then here's the neatest things I love about this is when I share this, I can share it as a static thumbnail or I can share it as an animated thumbnail, which what it does is it makes a little GIF or GIF, depending on how you say it. And that's what they see. Now I know some people that also upload thumbnails and what they do is they actually make custom thumbnails of them like waving or they use this for sales or promotional products and they use this for something else. So they'll create two vid yards. The first one is them just waving, holding maybe like a clipboard or something saying, hey, open this. Hey, Natasha, I made this great for you. And so when you're using this as a sales tool, the likelihood, there you go, press play. The likelihood of you opening it is so much more. So you can actually upload a custom thumbnail as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do an animated thumbnail. It's gonna take the very beginning of it. Oh, and I can also select from the video what I want to use as well. So I can actually go back in here and do that. I'm um, gonna select from the video. Um, I just like the animated thing because I just think it looks really cool. So I'm not as advanced as some. So once they finish with this and I get the animated thumbnail of what I want, I have a couple options here. I can preview it or I can share it. And I'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and share it. I'm gonna copy the link in the thumbnail. Oh, here's what I get when it comes up here. It's gonna be anyone with the link to see it. I can actually add a password and only a certain person can see it. Um, I've never used that before. It's a little, 
I think if I'm emailing someone, I'm not, I'm emailing it straight to someone's inbox. I don't use that. However, if you're putting this on a website where you want to restrict it to only purpose from people can see it, you can actually add a password, which is kind of cool. So I can copy the link, which will give me just a link, or I can copy the link in the thumbnail. I'm going to do the copy link and thumbnail. When I click that, now I'm going to come back into the video and I'm going to go ahead and just say, um, yo, made a video for you, dot, dot, dot. All right, now I'm going to paste it, control V. All right, and what's going to do is just an import. Some of these pastes keep messing up on my computer. I don't know why. I just have to undo it. And now that's it. So now that little GIF, that little animation is actually in the email along with the link for it. Pretty cool, right? So right. I'm going to go ahead and send this one out. It usually doesn't add. Something's going on with my Gmail. My Gmail's messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and send this one out. So I'm going to go ahead and do another email as well. I'm going to go ahead and give it a send. I'm going to show you guys how this one works. So Natasha, actually, I'll do it. I got to switch devices here. So let me see if I can share screen. Share screen. Share. And uh, can you guys see the video? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn sound on. How do I turn sound on? Not on. Um, share computer sound. All right, so when I share computer sound, so this is what's gonna happen. So Natasha gets this email, she's gonna click on this, and it's gonna open up the new screen. Now this is the difference between the paid version and the free version. The free version will still say Vidyard up here. Mine says Apollo Mail. And also down here, I've added my custom call to action, where I just said, have a few minutes, let's schedule a 15 minute chat. They also, just this last week, I had the ability to leave replies as well. So someone can actually sign in and leave a reply to one of my videos on here as well. So I turned that on. I really have not tested it yet. I haven't seen anyone do a reply yet. So I don't know if I'll leave it on. Maybe it's just confusing. But I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and you guys will see what happens. Hey, Natasha is Sage. Hey, I just wanted to shoot you a quick follow-up just to say hi. Uh, you're awesome, and I'll talk to you later. Aww. All right. Pretty cool. You guys get it? So Very that's it. Cool. So that's I like, the, I like the reply. Yeah, I like the reply. And I hope people start using it. But right now, the reply, someone has to actually be logged in to use it. So if they don't have a Vidyard account, I don't know, I don't know how well it's going to be used. But let me show you something else now. So now, say I want to get really complicated. And maybe I'm doing a, for those of you guys who don't know, I, I, I do, we build some really, really amazing websites along with, um, uh, monthly marketing. So this is a site where we're currently in development, but I'm working on it. So say I want to do a video, but I want to do a video and I want to talk about the website. So I'm going to go ahead and click the video again. I'm going to do screen. And now you're going to see my little floating head show up in the bottom. Now I'm going to start talking through here again and start doing some, some more. So I need to make sure. Okay. You guys ready? So I'm going to hit record. I'm going to share the, I'll record this screen, not both screens. Hey, Rick and Natasha. So I'm going to look at the portfolio real quick for one of my other clients to give you an idea what the portfolio looks like. As you guys saw, when I switch screens, my head follows me around and still follows it with it. So when I give someone an example on something or if I'm doing specific feedback, I can navigate and move around on different items. I can show them different things. I can go to the Vidyard screen. I can go to my calendar. So I'm giving them feedback in real time on the screen as, I, as I'm doing stuff, which is pretty dang awesome. Again, now if you notice, I can't, I don't think you can see it that well, but in the very bottom right hand corner is my controls again, where I can pause, I can stop, or I can restart. And I think my microphone covers covering that up. I mean, you can see it now. Um, so once I finish, I hit finish recording, and that's gonna open up the screen again. The, So again, same thing, just a slightly different variation of how you do it. Hey, Rick and Natasha. So I'm gonna look at the portfolio real quick for one of my other clients to give you an idea what the portfolio looks like. As you guys saw, when I switched screens, my head follows me around and still follows it with it. So when I give someone an example on something or if I'm doing specific feedback, I can navigate and move around on different items I can show them different things. I can go to the Vidyard screen. I can go to my calendar. So I'm giving them feedback in real time on the screen as, I, as I'm doing stuff, which is pretty dang awesome. Again, 
Now, if you notice, I can't, I don't think you can see it that well, but in the very bottom right hand corner is my controls again, where I can pause, I can stop, or I can restart. And I think my microphone cover is covering right. that up. You guys get a good idea on that one? Can you see it okay? All right. Yeah, so, I have a question. Is, sure. Is that feature available for the free version or only paid? Absolutely, it's free. Uh, on the free version as well, you can record your, you can record both aspects. Uh, you'll have all three options still on the free version. Thank you. And I have an, I have a question. Can, can you have multiple accounts? Um, I just, I think it, it's one account per email address. Okay. Um, but I've also know that, Hey, when I'm in Vidyard, I, I haven't done this yet, but when I'm in here, I can actually under my profile, um, I can invite colleagues to this, but I haven't done that yet to see how that works to see what it does on there. Um, so I'm not sure how some of that works. And then when I do sessions, um, here's all my different sessions and it logs on here. So it has all of these on here, email notifications. Uh, I can turn on notifications to follow different groups. So there's a couple of new things that they're adding on this. They haven't added any third party applications yet that I know. But I think their, their goal is eventually to start tying this into CRMs as well, which would be pretty awesome. Um, but that's kind of what I know from right now. And when I look, and I, this is fairly new to me, and I think it's fairly new just in, in the industry in general. So again, that email I just made, that video I just made for Natasha, uh, if I lost it, say I got confused where I was, I can go into my library again, and here's all my videos. So this last one I just made is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and say, if I wanna give this one to, to Natasha again, I'm gonna go ahead and do the animated button or I can just do a static thumbnail, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna hit share. I'm gonna copy the link and thumbnail because I like having a link in there. Sometimes if you want just the link, it's okay. I mean the thumbnail in there. I copy, again, I go right back into my email. I hit control V and I think it's gonna error out of me a bit. Uh, I don't know what it's doing, but anyway, it's there. Um, and that's normally, when I do control, when I paste it in here, this is normally what it shows up. I think my computer needs to be started. Something's going on a little bit weird with my computer. But, and now the new one's there. So I can go ahead and send that one to it. So now Natasha has both of those. And Rick, if he's opening this, he's like, what is he doing? Um, so, but that's, that's how it works for both. So that's my quick demo of Vidyard. And like I told you guys, it is super, super easy to use. And it's one of the reasons why I've adopted it so quickly. And then everyone else that I've talked to that has started using Vidyard, they just they just love it. It's, it makes communication just so effective and so easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back. And to my normal screen, can you guys hear me now? Yeah. yeah. All right, any questions from anyone? Um, so just what you did, oh, there's a, you, Jacko. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, what? So I'm waiting for it to come. Oh, there, there it is. I'm, I'm excited to see how it shows up on my email. So the original one is there, and then the second one. Wow. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, and of course, you can do this with multiple emails, multiple people. Obviously, it can be a group thing, or it can be one to one, and, right? Of course. Yeah. Or so that's just saying, I think it's just one account for email, but if you're running multiple businesses, I think as long as you switch accounts, I think you're good to go. I have, so I have a question. If I'm understanding the free version versus the, the paid version, it's just the free version. You're only able to upload five videos. Is it five videos at a time or you can only no, create five videos? No. So, so you can share as many videos as you want. Okay. You can only embed five videos into a website or wherever else. That's it. The reality is, is I don't think many of you guys will be using the embed feature that much. If you're using it for email, the only difference, if you're using this for email, is that it's not going to be branded to you, meaning you're not going to see your logo, and you're not going to have a call to action. That's it. Right. But so, for example, I haven't seen, I just received Barbara's proposal. Mm -hmm. I know if you guys don't know who Barbara, Barbara is, but... She she's using Vidyard and and I don't know. Can I share my screen for a moment because it'd be interesting for you guys to see it. Um, but because she, she has, um, I just need to be given yeah. permission. 
trying to find. Yeah, it. Naive, let me add you one second. Thank you. Because what I would love to do is use this for for individuals who sign up to say, hey, so and so name, thank you very much. But for that, if I were to personalize it for each individual, then you would require the paid account because it won't be one video that goes out to everybody because it has their own name on there. Are you are you sending it out via email to people? Yeah. Can you just record a different one to every single person as, it, as you put it out? That's what I'm asking you. Yeah, I absolutely. Thought... So remember, via email, unlimited via email. Oh, oh it's not it's, just five okay, at a time. It's, it's just unlimited. the website that is. That... Yeah, and that's what I said. I don't think you guys will be embedding these that much. Barb mm -hmm. embedded one on our website, but ultimately, I've never even done that because if there's a video that I like and I want to use it on a website, I just download the dang thing. Um, but so, yeah, so she's putting this email straight in here. Go ahead. I don't know if you can hear. No, on the, um, that's right. We get the idea of what it is though. So this is what she's doing is she made one video and she's sharing that exact same video over and over again. So she had to make it more vanilla. But if you wanted to make a custom video and put it in every single one of your emails, you can absolutely. So basically she sent me this because my AC is broken. This is the person who's going, who's sent us some proposals. So with every proposal, what she's doing is she's sending a little video about her and her company. And it's the same video for every single one, but this kind of how, if you see over here, I, and I don't think that she's got the, uh, the paid version. Because, she does. She's, oh, she has a paid version. Yeah. Okay. That's why it had the branding and it had the other question underneath there. And that's all when you, when you click on it and open it, that's why it still had her okay. logo on it. Okay. Thank you. Of course. So just in quick layman's, what's the, the benefit of the paid version is having your logo on it and having the reply. I love the, you know, the call to action and the reply. I love that. And I, of course it'd be lovely to have your own logo on it. So is that the, the only thing? Yeah, if you're just using it for email embeds, that's the difference. And then I guess you could have a free version on a different email and use that for other things and then have a paid version. Yeah, for those of you guys who are the hustlers that have multiple, multiple businesses, yeah, absolutely. Any other questions? What did you guys think? Did I give you enough info? Very I mean, cool. It's pretty easy. So it's, it's kind of like, cool. it's kind of hard to mess up this one. <laughs> okay. No, All it right. sounds really cool. Thank you. Because I missed your previous training on this. So I really appreciate it. No problem. No problem. Real quick. How many of you guys are using is, okay, let me just say, is anyone not on this call? Wait, anyone not on the call? Is anyone on this call not using Calendly? Are you guys all using Calendly as well? Who's not, not using Calendly? I've Raise your hand if you're I'm not looking. using it. So Donna's not using it. Danielle is. Natasha's using it. No, I'm uh, not. Nahid, oh, you're not using it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Nahid, are you using it? Uh, two weeks ago is when I started, and it was like, poof, so much free time because I spent so much time on admin crap, on scheduling calls. Anybody who doesn't use it, you really need to get get into it. I mean, I think what you're doing is just fantastic if you're going to show them Calendly. And I've stuck with the free account for that one. So yeah. it's good. All right. Donna, yeah. are you using Calendly? Um, Christina, you using Calendly? No. George, you using Calendly? Oh, my God. Okay. The value is going to be huge. All right. You're I'm going to give you guys something a little bit two, more. Round two. All right. So if you don't mind... <laughs> Turn off your recording and turn it back on again. That way it stops for that one. I'm going to give you guys something new. Okay. One second. Stop.